Hi everyone, this is Rosella. I am here in my hallway because it's uh, about the only place I could figure where I could actually show you this dress. I'm going to give you, try and give you a long shot first, and this is going to be tricky. Um, but there's the dress, the entire dress. The train is actually right currently now on the floor um, because it's a pretty long train. Um, this dress is, you know, it's, I'm pretty sure it's winter white, but I really can't tell right now. In the other room, it looked, um, winter white. In this light, although probably not on the video, it looks white, white. But I'm going to show you some close-ups of this. So this is the next gown that I have that I have not done anything to yet. Oops, look at the beautiful dangles on that. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, it is heavily beaded and sequined on the top here. And um, the top is perfect. I don't see any flaws on it at all. Come down into the skirt and you have this massive, massive applique. It goes all the way down to the hem and then um, large ones on either side as well and I'm gonna pull the hem up here and show you what that looks like uh, hang on just wait for it to focus hopefully it will there it is okay so that's what the hem looks like and then I'm gonna show you some of this applique here this giant applique so um, really pretty really really pretty the sequins are still completely clear they have not yellowed with the with age um, and yeah so far everything looks to be in really good shape um, there is I'm trying to see I'm coming down around the hem here and I'm not seeing really anything terribly dirty which is um, that's the place that if usually you're going to see problems if you if you're going to see them and there's uh, appliques all over the train I'm going to put uh, pause this and I'm going to show you the back of the dress okay here's the next view of the dress and I'm going to get closer in a minute but I just wanted to show you the extent of the work on the train um, there are just so many appliques. Most of them are very large, but um, you can always cut them and make smaller appliques out of them. That's one of the smaller ones right there, and as you can see it has the netting behind it. Um, and they're virtually all like that. Here's the hem again. And I did find there is one area of significant damage on this dress, which is it looks like, oh, where is it? It looks like it got um, a cigarette burn, actually. And that's right there, see? Um, and, or possibly just, or possibly a heel, actually. That might even be more likely, like a shoe heel. It's really sad, because that's the, that's really like the only thing on this dress. But interestingly, when you have the train out, you don't tend to know to see that part anyway because it's folded under. I'm going to um, go in closer and show you the rest of the gown. So here's the um, the back of the dress with the buttons and beautiful, beautiful appliques there. There's the back of the sleeve which is the same as on the front. It has a butt bow, that's what I always call them, with an applique on it. But look, what is below the, bu the bow here? This gorgeous peplum with this uh, trim. And then another part to the peplum here that ends in, in the same trim as on the hem. And, bonus, <laughs> right there is another applique with beautiful pearl and bead dangles on it. So, um, the reason that I wanted to show you this in such detail is because 
I was thinking about it and sometimes people say to me, oh man, I really wish I could find a wonderful wedding dress. I'd really like to have one. I know some people like to display them in their scrappy rooms. Um, some people want to try, oops, sorry, taking them apart themselves. So what I've decided to do is to um, offer up some of my gowns as uh, available for purchase as is. So, <laughs> you'll have to let me know if you're interested at all. Um, I will tell you as a general rule, the, the weight on the kind of gowns that I purchase is between 6 and 10 pounds. I will not ship prior, I will not ship, um, what's it called, uh, parcel post because of the incredible amount of time that that can take and I, I'm not okay with that as a seller. So if you're interested in sort of shipping costs, you can go to www.usps.com or .gov. It works either way. And in fact, even if you're outside the U.S., you can use this to check on uh, shipping cost to your country. Um, and prices, of course, for the gowns will vary according according to the dress. Um, so if you are interested in this gown or in another gown at some point, um, drop me a line let me know, would you? Um, I have three, four, maybe five other gowns coming very shortly. I have two gowns I'm working on cutting up for appliques and I am like way behind. <laughs> So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this um, preview of this beautiful, beautiful gown. And, um, as I said, if you're interested, or if you're interested in um, appliques and hems from this, you can let me know that too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.